In today's lesson, we will be learning how to count atoms in a chemical formula. Let's start with ammonium. The chemical formula for ammonium is NH4. The N stands for nitrogen and the H stands for hydrogen. Looking at the four next to the H, that's gonna tell us the number of hydrogen atoms found in the formula. In this case, there's going to be four hydrogen atoms. The N does not have a subscript, so we're gonna pretend that there's an invisible one next to the N. In order to co count the total number of atoms, all we have to do is add the individual atoms for each element. On nitrogen, there is no subscript, so it's one. And hydrogen has four atoms, so it's a four. All we have to do then is count our total number of atoms, and one plus four equals five. That means there's a total of five atoms found in the formula for ammonium, which is NH4. Our second example is a little trickier. In this example, we're going to be counting the total number of atoms found in copper 2-phosphate. The chemical formula for copper 2-phosphate reads Cu3 parentheses PO4 parentheses 2. In this example, we have parentheses as well as a subscript outside of the parentheses. When we have a subscript outside of the parentheses, we are going to distribute or multiply everything inside the parentheses by that subscript. But we do not multiply anything else found outside the parentheses by that subscript. Let's go ahead and start counting the number of atoms. First up, we have Cu, which is copper. There is a three subscript next to the copper, which means there's going to be three copper atoms. After that, we have P for phosphorus and O for oxygen. In order to get our number of P or phosphorus atoms, we have to take the two and multiply or distribute it to the P. The P does not have a subscript with it, so we're gonna pretend that there's an invisible one there. So two times one equals two. So there's going to be two phosphorus atoms. Next, we have oxygen, which has four atoms, and we're going to multiply it or distribute the two outside of the parentheses to the oxygen. So four times two equals eight. So there's going to be eight oxygen atoms. In order to find our total number of atoms, we add the three copper atoms, the two phosphorus atoms, and the eight oxygen atoms, which is going to give our formula a total number of 13 atoms.